All right, guys, so me and Angelo were talking today, and uh, we put together this crazy contraption last night. It's, it's, we call it the Steampunk X68 because it's kind of steampunk lookish. So we only had one of these long hoses. So we were curious, not only about the power, we were fooling around and we tested the jewels and the jewel V3s and everything else, and everybody else is doing that. We wanted to see just how many solid, powerful shots you can get out of a 13 CI, 3000 PSI air tank. So this was an air Ventura. I think this is a, an air Venturi tank. I'm not sure I got to look at it. But anyway, it's the one that I got from DK Spencer. I cannot... Believe, yeah, it's an Air Venturi. I see it right here. I cannot believe the numbers that we are going to show you here tonight. I think you guys are going to be really impressed. This launcher in this configuration utilizes the air extremely efficiently. So please stay tuned. Check out this video that uh, we took quite a long time filming. In the video, I think I will tell you, I'm going to only chrono the first shot of every magazine. And guys, sit back and enjoy. Hey, let's lethal people. So I'm here tonight with my, our new crazy contraction. We uh, did the shot last night where we put the HPA onto the X68. So today we spent all day chronoing, getting numbers and seeing how many shots we get out of a full bottle. This is a 13 CI uh, tank filled up to 3000 PSI. I just wanted to show you we were able to mount the light on here with the laser and we were also able to mount our optic on the top. So it's really all kitted up just more or less to just show you guys. And what we're gonna do is I don't, it's gonna be a long video because where going to see how many magazines and how many shots we get out of one bottle. So what I'm going to do is only chrono the first, I'm going to have eight rounds in here, one in the pipe, seven in the extended mag. I'm going to chrono the first shot of each mag that we do. So if we do three mags, four mags, five mags, six mags, it's going to be the first shot. So we see what the numbers stay at and the jewels that we get. What I have in here tonight are 7.9 gram Grimberg Jewel V3s. That's this round we're going to use. We have eight in here. I have seven in here and one on the table for the next round that we do. So I have Angelo here. I'm going to give him a piece of paper and a pencil. And he's going to mark down just the first number of each mag and how many total shots we get out of the HPA bottle with this. I think you guys are going to be surprised. So, zero, zero. First shot out. 438. First shot. 428. 428 for you guys. Third mag, first shot, 432, fourth mag. Mag 
we're still at 432. One in the pipe. This is magazine number five. Four thirty-eight. shots. Here we go, 412 at the 41st shot. on the 49th shot. This will be number 57. 57. Shot number 57. Three thirty-six. By the way, that's still just so that you guys know. That's still around fifty joules. Three thirty-six. Run too much Kevlar through the wall. All right. So this is the eighth magazine. All right, actually, it's the ninth magazine. No, it's the 278. Now we dropped. Now we're dropping. There's the drop off. Here's the big drop off 278, which is still, still up there. It's still pretty good. And that's it. We're done. So that's insane. I don't believe any Vulcan is putting, is utilizing air this well from the launcher. It's really, really, really impressive. You have to make sure it's all empty when you, after you do that, because I don't know what gets stored in the chamber in here. People have had different experiences. So guys, let's, Go back to the chair, let's wrap this up a little, and let's talk about numbers. All right, let's lethal people. So, here's the verdict. I have to make an apology really quick. Angela was doing the count. We had 68 shots total. I said 63, because I was a gym teacher, not a math teacher. So, 68 shots total, magnificent. Mag 1. Gave us 438 feet per second, 70 joules. Mag 2 was 428 feet per second, 67 joules. Mag 3, 432, 69 joules. So it's staying very consistent. Mag 4, 432 feet per second, 69 joules again. Mag 5 jumped up a little to 438, 70 joules. So that's the first 40 shots, 40, 40 shots between 67 and 70 joules. That's beyond crazy having 40 solid shots at close to 70 joules, 69, 70 joules. That's amazing. I don't know. Personally, I could be wrong. Maybe one of the one of you guys out there could correct me if I'm wrong. But 
on HPA like that, getting 40 shots at 70 joules, I haven't heard. I don't, I don't think the M17 does. I think it utilizes a lot more air. So 40 shots at 70 joules, 67, 69, 70 joules. Mag number six, 412 feet per second. We're at 62 joules. So even on the sixth mag, we're at 62 joules. Mag number seven, we're at 380 feet. That's 53 joules. So now you're actually 56 shots in because eight times seven is 56. You're 56 shots in and you're still getting 53 joules, which is no slouch. And then mag eight, it drops down to 41 joules. Still adequate. Okay, on uh, 64th round, right? And then mag nine is where the plummet comes in and it's down to 218 feet per second and it's 17 joules. So you don't have to worry about running out of power for a good seven or eight mags for like 50 plus shots. I, I was just amazed at the whole thing and I got 68 shots total. And out of those 68, 56 were fantastic. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you start thinking about doing HPA on your X68. This is a game changer, let me tell you. All right, guys, have a good night. Stay safe.